Hi, my name is Morten Nia from flipnormals.com and in this tutorial we're going to take a look at a piece of software called Alchemy. It's a, it's a free piece of software and you can get it for Mac, uh, Windows and Linux. Um, basically what I use it for is sort of when I get stuck, when I'm trying to design characters, creatures, whatever, or I just want to have fun, I just pop open the program and I just, I just play around. So what Alchemy can do for you is help you explore abstract shapes and create shapes that you wouldn't necessarily think to create by yourself. Um, usually, like when I draw a lot, I I tend to get stuck and and I start drawing the same things over and over again. I might start repeating shapes and and things like that. That's where Alchemy can really help you because it can really it can really randomize a lot of a lot of shapes and and help you build sort of like a new visual vocabulary um, and I'm just going to take you through like sort of my workflow with it and show you a few examples of shapes that I've created and then a few sketches I, I did in Photoshop on top of those uh, shapes. So the first thing you'll see is when you pop open Alchemy it's just like a blank canvas um, and at the top you have your toolbar and it's very limited there, there aren't really a lot of options, um, but the things we will mess around with are the effectors and possibly the way to create a shape. Um, I keep things very basic when I when I create things. So, like by default, when you open Alchemy, this is sort of what you'll get, and you can use it with a mouse or or a tablet. Uh, it doesn't really matter because you don't really need to be precise. I mean, unless you're using it for actually drawing you can do tons of stuff with with this but this is just what I use it for. One thing to keep in mind though is that there there is no way to undo stuff in alchemy. So once you've taken a decision, that's it. It's it's there or it's gone. Um some people might find it frustrating but I think it's it's a good way to work because this way you don't you don't limit yourself and you don't sort of attach yourself to the the piece of work that you've created. And the aim is really to create a lot of pieces really fast to really prototype and, and see what you can come up with. Um, so usually what I'll do is I'll go into the effectors and I'll enable this place. So you remember before when we were just drawing, we were just drawing a line. Uh, when we have displace on, it sort of displaces the line constantly. If, you, if you're using a tablet, it'll displace the line constantly. And if you're using a mouse, it'll only do it once you move. But because I'm using a tablet, there's constantly pressure, so it's constantly displacing. Um, in doing this, you can create some rather interesting looking shapes. Um, like that, I don't know what that is, but that could be something. And if you press Command or Control Backspace, you can sort of clear the canvas and, and start fresh. Um, another interesting, you can enable a lot of these effectors at the same time. And, and one other thing that's really fun to play around with is, is the mirror function and the displace function. We get this sort of, I don't know, that Norris Barkley music video kind of feel, ink drops and stuff like that. Um, maybe you can draw a face, it's like a demon face, fish, whatever. Um, this mode is doesn't really work for me that well, so what I'll tend to do is I'll go over to the style and change it from a line to sort of like a, a solid. And when I do this, it creates actual shapes. These shapes are a lot easier for me to work with and sort of to pick out things within the object that I, I can draw. Um, but let's just uh, disable the mirror function again and, and then just give it a try. Like this is sort of the way I work with it. You just see if you find a shape you you like if you don't you can sort of like drag your cursor quickly to sort of pull things back in again and there you go maybe we'll have it's like a dragon kind of face with the eye and maybe you know it could have some spikes coming off of it and usually what i'll do is i'll screen grab whatever i have in alchemy and, and put it through photoshop just do like a quick line drawing on top and that's like the way i i work with alchemy so and and it's it's so fast like what it was 
There's like some sort of bunny thing over here and then some sort of evil face over there. It's really like, it's very individual, sort of like what people see in these abstract shapes. Um, <laughs> like some sort of weird cat or whatever. But it's it's really like just go crazy and just mess around with some of the effectors and the way to create stuff. You can even create stuff with a mic where if you you speak into the mic, see nothing happens. And as soon as I start speaking, um, it starts displacing all my lines. Yeah, it's 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 you can do some crazy things with it. <laughs> so um, one of the other effectors I want to go over is the smooth effector. So let's just clear all this stuff and go back to shape. So once you've uh, sort of made your object like this and you go over it with the smooth effector, uh, it smooths things out, uh, which 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 can be helpful because a lot of the stuff that comes out of alchemy with these settings is very spiky. So you can just quickly go over your object. This does have a tendency to also destroy it, so be careful with that. Um, and I'll just, uh, I just I just want to show you a few examples of of things I've I've quickly created in Alchemy and then done some quick sketches of. So this first sketch was like. I saw some sort of, I don't know, like a weird, weird dragon looking thing over here. And I started the sketch, but that didn't really work out for me. Uh, and then I progressed like inside and I saw something that was more like a fish uh, with like the underside of the fish here, like a pointy mouth and then the eyes. Um, and then it turned into this, where it's like, you see the, like, the mouth being open there, that's sort of like the this section here. Um yeah, it's really like a bizarre looking thing. Um <laughs> the next one was uh I, I actually started like another one inside of this as well, where it's like it was more like a bird. The bird was sort of like coming out of here and had wings here. But then I noticed this part which looked like sort of also kind of like a bird, but that turned into a dragon. And it's like the dragon is here where it's like, you can see it retains the shape, the overall shape uh, from from before. And and then you just sort of, you have to fill in the blanks. Uh, and then the last one was some sort of weird alien looking thing that turned into, I, I don't even know what this is, but space, man eye with hands uh yeah <laughs> it's like just just give it a go and you might surprise yourself because you can you you get some crazy stuff and it it's i mean it's fun and it's nice to play around with and if you don't want to like mess up your sketchbook you can say ah, i have nothing to draw just pop open alchemy and mess around for like 10 minutes maybe you'll create something amazing all right thanks for watching mm -hmm.